Amber Heard is losing hope with winning this case against her ex-husband. They thought you were lying. How could, I'll put it this way, how could they make a judgment? How could they not come to that conclusion? She's now begging her insurance companies not to sue her after her former lawyer revealed some shocking things about her. We all know that Amber Heard's defamation trial wasn't as successful as she thought it would be. The actress lost to Johnny Depp since she was proven to be guilty of defaming him with malicious intent. Because of that, there were so many consequences to her actions, but these consequences are things she doesn't want to accept. She's trying to find a loophole to get out of it, especially the one on paying Johnny $10 million for damages. At first, her lawyers still defended her after the jury gave their verdict. Really what happened here is it's a tale of two trials. Johnny Depp brought a suit in the UK for the same case, and the burden of proof was easier for him there. The son had to actually prove that it was true. Elaine Bredehoff was going on so many TV interviews saying that her client is innocent and that she's too broke to pay Johnny Depp. Now, Elaine can't do that because Amber fired her even with all the things she was doing post-trial. With her appeal in motion, Amber brought in new attorneys with the hopes of having the Johnny Depp trial verdict tossed. She doesn't want the Fairfax trial to happen all over again, so we guess she planned this beforehand. Amber moved forward with her appeal plans with assistance from the law firm Ballard Spar, enlisting lead attorneys David Axelrod and Jay Ward-Brown. They were the two attorneys who were successful in defending Sarah Palin in a recent defamation case as well. Because of this, people are thinking that Amber is scared because rumors have it that Elaine Bredehoft is lawyering up and spilling the tea about her to her insurance companies. The Heard team wrote a letter to them begging them to back off. They're asking them to just combine all their lawsuits regarding the actress instead of doing different lawsuits because she can't afford that anymore. Her assets are reportedly negative $6 million at this point. The actress is clueless about what's happening and what she did might just be the reason they serve her in court faster than ever. Amber is not part of the Traveler's lawsuit because Traveler's Insurance is suing her other insurance company, New York Marine. Add the interesting things Elaine has to say about her, you got a new bombshell trial. Amber threw her best lawyer under the bus after she defended her even when everything went awry, and now she's afraid of the certain discoveries being directed against lawyers that represented her. They're begging the insurance companies to draw a motion to consolidate or postpone the lawsuits, but we don't think they'll do that. A lot of people already expected this. One person said she keeps going after people when she's in the wrong and wonders why it doesn't turn out the way she expected. Another pointed out that the greatest nightmare for any defendant is not to be found guilty is their defense lawyer turning on them and spilling out the juicy secrets. That's what happens when you turn your back on the only people that help you during your lowest. Remember that some of this information is all based on theories and opinions that shouldn't be considered facts. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.